Everyone, welcome to the show. So right-wing media figures and even a percentage of viewers are turning on Fox in the wake of the Dominion revelations. Steve Bannon has been one of the most vocal. You guys may have heard about him calling out at CPAC for war against against Fox. Um, and many others are now getting in on this action. White supremacist Laura Loomer referred to Fox owner Rupert Murdoch as a globalist. <gasps> I mean, that's like the biggest insult you can make. And then the other white supremacist and Donald Trump dinner guest, Nick Fuentes, told his audience that Fox host Tucker Carlson is, quote, really not with us. And former Fox host Glenn Beck told his audience, quote, I have heard more and more people say, I just don't trust it anymore. I don't, you know, I don't watch it like I used to. And then Beck also claims that he's, quote, hearing rumblings that is coming apart at the seams on the inside. And a Daily Wire host called it embarrassing that Fox was hosting Sidney Powell while, you know, behind the scenes, they're all talking shit about her and saying how absurd it all was. And then, of course, Fox competitors are just having a field day with all of these newly exposed texts and emails and this lawsuit. Um, they're just loving this. They're calling Fox the anti-Trump network. And Newsmax host Eric Bolling said in regard to Tucker Carlson, he, quote, can't understand how a guy who can portray himself as a huge Trump fan on television saying he hates him passionately is very, very much looking forward to the day he didn't have to cover Trump being in the White House every day. Yeah, he just doesn't understand how that happens, how the, how they can do that and justify that in their mind as if they're not as full of shit over at Newsmax. Um, as for Fox viewers, a recent survey found that in regard to viewers 18 and older, 21% say they trust the network less now. This is viewers who watch Fox. And when the pollsters spoke with general respondents, meaning people who watch Fox and then also people who don't, only 16% of the general population say that they still trust Fox. A whopping 42% said that they continue to not trust Fox. <laughs> so didn't before, don't now. And a checked out 30% of respondents said they have no opinion. Um, when asked if they're still watching Fox as much as before, 9% said no, they've curtailed their viewing. And that was evident in the answers to specific questions about particular primetime hosts. When asked if their opinions of Tucker Carlson, Sean Hannity, and Laura Ingram had changed after these Dominion voting revelations, 16% um, of Fox viewers said their opinion is less favorable now of those three. Um, sadly, though, 52% say no, opinion hasn't changed, remains favorable toward these three liars. And here's the really disturbing part. Knowing what they know now, with all of these internal communications, Sidney Powell's crazy, internally decapitated source for her, her election fraud lies, 50% of Fox viewers still believe the election was stolen. Only 13% of respondents said that the Dominion revelations had changed their minds. And they now no longer believe that the election was rigged. That's it. You know, I mean, I guess that's better than nothing. But how are you so out of touch with reality that you still believe this fairy tale after learning that one of their sources is a cactus artist? <laughs> a cactus artist who gets her election fraud information from song lyrics and in the grocery checkout line. I mean, how are you so entrenched in your partisan beliefs that you are willing to ignore the fact that this so-called source believes she's internally decapitated and that the wind tells her she's a ghost? That's their source. And so many of these people are still like, no, yeah, still believe it. I still think that there is a basis for it. <laughs> Oh, my God. Like I said before, crazy. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Please like, share, and subscribe. Please donate if you possibly can. 
Love you all. Appreciate it so much. Take care and I'll talk with you soon. 